We are lost in Venice. On reserve. Double rainbow. Dad? There they are. How's your food? I finished it. Got my omelet once again. I got some herbs in there this time. That's a pineapple juice. My focaccia with my brie. And we're sitting outside this morning. And it's unbelievable. Breakfast is done. As you can see, they're getting rid of everything. How amazing is this room though? Post breakfast, we are here at the pool. Today's our last day in Lake Como, which is very, very sad because this is like the most beautiful place I've ever been. But today we are just going to have a nice chill day around the hotel. We're going to take advantage of the amenities, get some sun, fill the pool basically. That's the plan. Everyone's chilling. Quite a while later, I don't even know what time it is. What time? 3 p.m. We've left the pool. We were laying around for a while. Very relaxing. But now it's 3 o'clock and we have dinner reservations at 7.30. So we want to get food before then so that we don't eat again at like 5 p.m. We're heading out now. We're going to walk into Tremezzo. That's where we're going, right? Just to confirm. Tremezzo. Great. We found a little park going to explore. Everyone's just like lounging. This is so nice. Wow. Oh my god. This is stunning. This place right That's like here. someone's driveway up yeah, to their that home. That is unbelievable. Like does someone live in here? We are looking for food. I need to do an instant. Got our food. Oh yeah. I love this. I love, I love. It's so fresh. So we sat at the lunch spot for a while. We just kind of lounge no rush to get anywhere but it's getting pretty overcast now so we're heading back to the hotel it's like a mile from here just in case you know it starts raining better to be back at the hotel no it looks like it's like a dog or something sure. it's supposed to rain and it looks like it's going to so well it just it just is overcast i don't really see rain i don't know i guess we'll see but we are taking it very slow today look how dark it is eh Back at the hotel, we were in the room for a bit. My dad actually left us because he decided he needed pizza. Again, he ordered himself a pizza and he just told us that it's ready. So we're gonna go see what he's doing. We heard thunder, actually our lights went out for a second, but we're gonna share a slice, I think. And my hair is crazy. I just can't get it to look decent at all today. <laughs> Made it outside, but it's raining. We can feel little bits of drizzle. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. Thank you so much. It is raining, there's thunder. Can you see it? <laughs> really raining now. One of the waiters just told us there's a rainbow. He saw my camera and figured we would want to take a photo. <gasps> oh wow. Oh my God. Holy crap. Double rainbow. Oh my God, that is so cool. Wow, thank you. See there's one here and then there's like a very, very faint one. I don't, I can't really see it here. And now it is sunny again. Can you believe that blue sky? Is it nice? Dad and I have been here for the last like 40 minutes. Seven o'clock, we have dinner in 25 minutes. So funny, back to so beautiful again. Sun, blue sky, nice temperature. I love it. Quick little alpha changes for us. And we're heading out to dinner. It's been a very chill day. I'm sure you guys have realized that. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. To our last night in Lake Como. In Lake Como. Cheers. We have a little starter dish. Did she say was on top? Some kind of crumble. The marmalades. Yum. But this one is figs, orange, and red onion. This one is a goat cheese. This is. Taleggio, Gorgonzola, Gran Reserva, Vito, Crotombra, and Lateria di Valtellina. They are all from this wow. region. Wow, amazing. Dinner is here. You're probably wondering what in the world <laughs> is this? It's actually purple gnocchi. It's crispy gnocchi. So like the outside is fried and then the inside is like the mushy gnocchi consistency. It has like sundered tomatoes and a bunch of other delicious things. My dad got the same and my mom got carbonara. We are back from dinner. 
it's 10 p.m. We are going to call it a little bit earlier tonight because we are leaving for Venice tomorrow. Very, very excited. Though I'm going to get into a shower because my hair has just not been nice today. It's just, I need a shower, clearly. It's the next day, once again, meeting my parents for breakfast because my mom wanted to go and I wasn't ready. So they went without me. I have an omelet as per usual, and then I got a bunch of little things. We have some focaccia, we have brie as per usual, but then I have pineapple, a mini muffin, and these potato croquet, croquette? I think they're like uh, mini hash browns that are fancier. I don't really know. But once again, stunning view for the last time. Just finished breakfast, but I want some pineapple juice to bring up. So good. We are packed up and we were leaving this beautiful, beautiful hotel. I'm so sad. This was a really nice one. We're heading out to our last stop on the trip. Me. Our favorite spot. You guys didn't see it very often, but every time we came by the lobby, this is where we went. And I always got the yellow marshmallows. Something about them, next level. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Bye. This is a great man. We have sadly left Lake Como. That was like one of my favorite places in the entire world that I've ever been to, ever in my life. We're in the car heading to Venice today for our last two days here. How did this trip go so fast? Somebody tell me. We're in a tunnel. So we are driving to Venice. It's like six. Is it six hours total? Six hours total. So it's around five hours. But we are stopping around three hours into the drive at a really, really cool spot that I've seen before I even knew that they, that this was like on the itinerary. But I am doing my editing in the car, trying to edit these vlogs so that when we have better Wi-Fi, I can upload them. There was like really, really limited Wi-Fi in Lake Como, so I really couldn't do anything. But I'm just trying to have them done and then I can just click upload and they'll go right up. But yeah, that's what's happening. It's not, there's not much to tell you right now. This is our view though. Not too bad. A few hours later, we are finally at our destination or like halfway point destination. We are at the Sinking Castle. I've seen pictures on Pinterest, like all these travel posts, but I've never thought in a million years I would actually end up there. It looks like it's fake. It's a castle that is like sinking in the water. We are here and we found an amazing parking spot like two minutes from the castle. We're gonna get our tickets and we're gonna go see. I'm so excited. You can actually drive your car back here. Seems a little bit crazy. Oh, Check here's a boat. Right. Okay. Wait, where? That is a drone. Dad, yeah, they have a drone. We can do it. Someone's flying a drone. We can fly a drone. Just gonna be a little bit risky. You should ask him. Take a picture of here. Dad, we could launch it down here. Dad? Oh my god. The wind, the wind blew it in the uh into the wall. It's the, the wind okay. This gives me such anxiety now. Not happy though. Not liking the GPS signal right now. Yeah, mine took a few minutes. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, the drone survived. We got some pretty cool shots, which I guess you just saw. I haven't even seen it yet, really, but you have you know this reminds me of last summer in croatia i, know, I was thinking the exact so same thing. much it's just it's like the castle vibe yeah. they're all very similar all right we're about to go up all of these stairs should be fun the little opening i don't know if you're gonna fit that Breeze up here. Straight up. That's so insane. Okay. Going down makes me really nervous. I have like too much equipment and stuff 
that I don't want to break. And we've done it. We are back in the car. Can you see how sweaty my face is? Just like a full layer of water. It is hot out there. We were thinking of walking around like the town where the castle is, but it's gonna be like three hours more to Venice. And leaving right now, it's gonna be like 6.30 by the time we get there. So we figured we would just, you know, leave now and then explore when we get to Venice. It's so hot, but that was so cool. Like so fun to see. We just dropped the car off at the airport because we no longer need it. Now we're going to the ferry that's gonna take us to our hotel or around the hotel. I don't really know. Like yeah, it does sound like Disney. Kinda. watching the World Cup. <laughs> Just made it to the hotel. We made it to our hotel in Venice. We're only here for the two nights. Tomorrow's our last day here, which is just insane. We're heading out now. We're gonna get, can I see the key for a second? So it looks like a really old school key, but it's all like fob, which is, it's just funny. Heading out for some dinner. It's 7.15, so we're gonna look for somewhere to eat. Made it out. So cute. <laughs> we're gonna check the menu of all of the restaurants to make sure we can get something delicious. <laughs> look how cute that is. Ooh. Get that parmesan all up in that, yes. Got a spaghetti with cream sauce and mushrooms. Looks good, my mom got spaghetti with pesto and cream sauce. My dad got a uh, four cheese pizza and some bread. My dad's pizza has arrived. Look at that, that looks nuts. Got some lemoncello to finish off the dinner. Oh, how fun is this? Oh my God, it's, it's real. We're not in Vegas. We finished dinner. My mom goes, wow, look at this. It looks like we could be in Italy right now. And Vegas. I mean, I guess, yeah, like this looks like the Venetian, the shopping area, but you know, this is actually Italy. Dinner was delicious. It's I am like we're on a stupid full. Yeah. Unfortunately, all the stores are closed because we got here a little bit later. So we're gonna have a full day. To oh, look how cool that light is. It's like all umbrella. Um, so tomorrow is gonna be a very busy day full of exploring and shopping. <laughs> Hey Mitch, for oh, you. Skulls. That is so cute. Look, this looks like a grocery store. This is really fun. Look at that treasure chest of jelly beans. This is a marshmallow. Look how cute. Golf balls. Oh tennis balls. Oh, tennis balls. Eggs. Freaking spook. <laughs> Melting clocks. So we're doing some late night exploring. It's like nine o'clock and there's not gonna be much else for us to do right now. Oh my God, look how fun. What a strange place to see a Sephora. It's starting to get pretty dark in these alleyways. Do you know where we're heading, Dad? Or is this kind of random? Look at the windows. Cute. Look at this though. Like, look at these windows. They're incredible. You don't see that in America. Oh no. Look at this like doorknob. It's crazy how dead it is around here. Like there's nobody. And we found ourselves into like a, a more local area. Definitely not very touristy here. What? Oh, like the statue? Where did we end up? Go back towards the water. We seem to have no idea where we are. We are lost in Venice. This way? We made it back to civilization. There are humans, there is light. You did it, Dad. Good job. And we are back. We're checking out our rooftop bar at the hotel. This is kind of fun. <gasps> I love this song. Look how pretty. Fine. Look how pretty. Should have a final, like tomorrow night. Yeah. I love this song. This is really nice. 